I'm Ali McDonough from Boston University, and today we're talking about food that does not require any cooking. So we're going to be making a bagel with lox. Um, and it's kind of it's kind of like a bagel with cream cheese, but it's a little bit more exciting than your normal bagel and cream cheese. So we're going to start off with half a bagel, um, and I'm going to hang on to the other half of my bagel, and I'll make this again some other day. So onto your half a bagel, I'm going to spread some cream cheese, um, and I. I personally prefer the whipped cream cheese. It's really, it's a personal choice. It doesn't really matter. Um, but it's kind of my favorite. I usually find that it's lighter and fluffier and doesn't really, it, it has more volume than the normal cream cheese. So I'm going to spread some whipped cream cheese on top of my bagel, like that. And then I'm going to add lox. Now, lox is smoked salmon. Sometimes they call it lox, sometimes they call it nova. You can find this in your grocery store. Um, if you just ask around. And basically what happens is it's not necessarily cooked per se, but they smoke it. So the smoke actually cures it and cooks it to a degree where you can eat it and it's fine. Um, just if you buy locks in your grocery store, don't keep it for too long because it can go bad after a while. So I'm going, I put some locks on top of my bagel with cream cheese and then a little bit of red onion. So this is really, really thinly sliced red onion which just kind of adds a little bit of a kick to this um, and it makes it really delicious. So red onion on top and then I'm going to finish it with caper berries which are the pickled bud of the caper plant and that kind of, the, the pickle aspect of it adds a little bit of a vinegary brine and adds a little bit of acid that makes it really good. So this is my sandwich or it's an open faced sandwich, bagel, cream cheese, lox, onion and caper berries. And you can add tomato onto here if you want to add a little bit more vegetable. Um, and you get a lot of really great omega-3 fatty acid from the lox itself. So it is really healthy. It's a great way to get some protein into your body that you don't necessarily have to cook. So I hope that you enjoy making this sandwich. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.